All right, Alan Mendoza is a Russia specialist and chief executive of the Henry Jackson Society. He joins us now live from London. Thank you very much for being on Al Jazeera, Mr. Mendoza. So why would Russian authorities go to so much trouble to convict a dead man? What's the message they're sending here with this trial? Well, it's uh, twofold. Number one, unintentionally, they've uh, sent the message that Russian justice is a laughing stock around the world. You don't try dead people. It was, it's a first uh, for Russia. It's a first even as far as I'm aware for the Soviet Union, uh, going back a little further in history. Um, what they have done is managed to discredit their judicial system completely. But why they've done it is more interesting. I think it comes down to the fact that the Russian state knows that uh, the Magnitsky Act, the Magnitsky case itself, has caused more trouble for Russia internationally than any other case um, in the last 10, 15 years, simply because, including, by the way, high-profile ones like Mikhail Khodorkovsky, mm -hmm. simply because um, it was such an obvious example of human rights abuses and it's led to legislation abroad. It's that what the Russians are desperate to try and stop, and this is what's led them to the extraordinary spectacle you're seeing in Moscow today. Indeed, the trial has been described as a travesty, a violation of international and national laws by the European Parliament and it's resulted in, in one of the worst rows be, between the US and Russia. Where do you see the relationship going now moving forward and do you feel that other countries perhaps not just the Americans could have deteriorating relations with, with Russia as a result of this trial? Well, I think, yes, I, I agree. I think what you're going to see is worsening relations between the U.S. and Russia on the basis that Russia is not a country that abides by rule of law. It's not a country that has an open judicial system. It's a country where political motivations lead to judicial decisions. That is not a, a society that people in America, people in the West, want to be part of. And if you want to look at what's going to happen in terms of um, other countries, there was a poll out just this week um, in Britain that showed that 72 percent of those polled supported the introduction of a UK Magnitsky Act. And unfortunately, the Russians are going to discover the more they attempt to um, subvert the judicial process, the more they actually look to um, enforce political views on uh, court decisions, the more that people in the West and other places will look at them as a pariah nation, a nation that they cannot have normal relations with and which will indeed look to impose sanctions of various kinds against those who are accused of human rights and other such abuses. This case, uh, Mr. Mendoza, sounded like one from the perhaps KGB era. What about people inside Russia? What did they make of, of this trial and, and did it get a lot of coverage inside Russia? Well, the coverage, of course, inside Russia is very skewed towards um, what the Putin regime would like people to see. But I think, you know, ordinary Russians have seen time and time again now show trials, effectively show trials, which is what you were referring to, a case where you know the verdict before the trial even starts. I mean, in this case, how could you possibly try a dead man, expect there to be a uh, sort of fair judgment in any way? His lawyers weren't allowed to see any papers, uh, his family lawyers, I mean. Um, the state appointed people to defend him and Mr. Browder, not independent lawyers. It was obvious the verdict was going to come out. Now, Russians know the state of their legal system, and you've seen them come on the streets before uh, last year the year before protests about corruption in Russia and other factors and I think uh, this case merely reinforces the fact there's something very rotten at the heart of the Russian state and ordinary Russians are going to continue to feel that that's the case as long as decisions like this keep on happening very good to get your thoughts Mr. Mendoza Alan Mendoza Russian specialist and chief executive of the Henry Jackson Society was joining us there live from London thanks for your time a court in Indonesia says it will not extradite the man